what is up my babies welcome back to another wig tutorial in today's tutorial i'll be working on this beautiful unit from b lace wigs now i do have the pre-plucked invisible knots and this is their um, naturally curly human lace wig now this is 180 density as well and like i said it is pre-plugged honey okay um also this is a 22 inch unit i wanted to show you guys inside of the wig and you get a lot a lot of uh protection when you have this wig on so your wig is not coming out they really secured the crap out of this wig you get four combs and also excess lace at the bottom so that means you can wear this in a ponytail if you please and i love this wig so much because of that now I am going to go ahead and bleach the knots. I'm going to grab my bleach and also my 30 volume developer and also the bowl that I'll be using. And you guys already know the drill. I usually grab my got to be spray and I spray um, this unit all the way down in the front of the unit where the lace is because spraying it is going to keep the bleach uh, to not go on the lace. Okay, because if you have ever over bleached your knots, it's not the best feeling ever okay so try this method it's going to be the best thing so I wanted to show you guys how I usually mix my ingredients together I just put a couple scoops of the bleach and then also the uh, the 30 volume developer I just eyeball it and then I usually want it in more of a uh, not a runny consistency a little bit more of a uh, thick but not too thick something that's like butter there you go butter consistency is what you need um, and then I usually just put it all over the lace like so and I let it sit for at least 20 minutes so yeah if you're new at this part it's pretty easy once you get the consistency down you don't want it too runny that's all I gotta say but then if you put it too thick you don't want it too thick that you're like pressing on the lace you just want it to be like a buttery consistency so normally the main reason why we bleach the knots is because we want to get rid of those black dots that's usually on the lace now you guys can see look how natural that freaking looks and all I had to do is just bleach the knots if I did not bleach the knots you guys would have been seeing black dots um so so the fact that this lace front is already pre-plucked, I just went ahead and just lightly pre-plucked it a little bit more. But you guys can already tell that it's already plucked, but y'all already know I be doing things a little too extra. And I usually like my lace to look a little thin so then it can look natural a little bit. But overall, y'all, I just love how it looks. I didn't even have to tint the lace or anything like that. I never have to tint the lace unless I'm working with 613 hair. So I really, really love that. And this wig does come with baby hair, which that came kind of in handy this time. Normally, I don't care for baby hair, but this one was amazing you guys i have been loving this unit i've been just rocking it a lot because i can put it up in a ponytail i can do so much with it and you guys have been loving it on instagram y'all been telling me it's bomb and this is the unit if you're interested all the details will be in the description box so make sure you check that out and also let's let's go ahead and introduce this channel to this beautiful this amazing okay wig stand okay i got a new wig stand and a new wig head you guys i'm so freaking happy oh i'm so happy i am going to be using the old wig head because i don't want to get this one dirty or anything like that when i'm dealing with like colors and all that good stuff so now it is time to cut that lace off honey it looks bomb the wig is it's right it's tight and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this super sharp scissors that I love so much and they're really thin so it's so much easier to cut the lace around um, it just makes my job a lot easier and I got it from Sally Beauty Supplies in the nail section um, so they're not normal you know scissors they're meant for nails so I'm gonna grab my got to be spray and this is what I use you guys to glue down my wigs okay this is life for me it's a lot more easier I love it it's not messy it gets the job done and it's quick okay and my big ginormous head <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah so that is all I'm doing is just gluing that unit down normally if I have the lace still on the wig like this how I'm showing you guys it usually takes me about 35 minutes to do this but if the lace is already cut and I'm just throwing on the wig and gluing it down with this spray, it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. So now it is time to create the baby hair. This is probably one of my favorite parts of doing my hair is 
doing the baby hair. I don't know what it is, but I think I gotten so much better at it that I enjoy doing this and it's so satisfying. <laughs> so I usually grab my got to be uh, gel and it's the black one. It's the best. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, so, and it's not messy at all in my opinion and it doesn't leave like a those little crusty crap on it. Ugh, I hate the yellow gel. The yellow gel is so annoying, but the black one is definitely it. And it gets the job done, okay? So my loves, this is it for this hair tutorial. I'm going to pop some music for you guys. And also, I will be styling this hair at the end of the video. Um, just a little half up, half down kind of style so you guys can see how cute it is. Um, definitely check out my description box if you are feeling this unit. It will be there waiting on ya, okay? As usual, I love y'all so, so much. Now, open the sauna and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!